Okay guys, here's a club result. I was first, Stephen Hood was second, Stephen Attlee was third, Stephen Hood was fourth, I was fifth, and Jed Edwards was sixth. Uh, it was a good race all in all, uh, pretty good returns. I had all my own. Uh, most of the club members had a, one or two missing, some of them had them all home as well. So yeah, it was a good race. Um, yeah, they, they come pretty well to be fair. Uh, say is bang on the time I thought they come to be honest. Um, I did the other card of club were cocking at 44, so there was a just under a minute I think in front of me, but it's not too bad. Um, still up there, like nowhere in the Fed, just because of the wind, the way the wind was. We don't touch the Fed in this wind, but yeah, all in all, a good result. I'm happy, and uh, let's have a little look at the birds. Here he is, club winner. His nest mate is this boy here. That's his nest mate. They're both number 69. And he's had two second clubs this year so far. So the reason is definitely doing these pigeons. Macaloni. Um, Lines uh, cross with Van der Bok, um, thing Christmas. Uh, yeah, they seem to be doing the business for me at the moment. Lovely pigeons. Hey, I got them all on. They've had their ends all day now since they come home. I usually take them off them by the night, but. I might leave them overnight tonight, give them a bath tomorrow, split them in, and then um, start again on Monday then, with a the routine. But yeah, it's an absolute mess in here by the way. But I got double the mountain pigeons here today, so, and they made the matter mess inside, they just fled the grit everywhere, took the world all over here. Thanks guys, lots to clean up now. Thought he was going to come this week, but he was a bit behind. I think he needs a bit of an hand race for Mr. Geelinks there. This guy come like an absolute rocket. He thought he won the national, top the feds, won the combine, everything. He came straight between the houses, right here. I literally, seen him as a duck on air. He came between the two houses, straight down. Hit the landing board and literally fell through the landing board straight from the bob wires into the shed. Best trap I've ever seen. I think it was my seventh pigeon. <laughs> but no, my first bird, he had a good trap. Um, come over the top, didn't go on the house roof today, which was very good. Uh, landed on the loft roof, but as soon as his feet touched the loft roof, they were off the loft roof and he was on the landing board, so I was happy with that. Um, yeah, so yeah, first club, uh, fifth club. Um, yeah, not a bad performance. So he had them all alone within the hour. So he's mad. Uh, he was my last pigeon, and he was my first pigeon last week. He came. He was one of the ones who came two together. So he was third club last week, and he came last today. Crazy, but that's the way it goes. But let's see, I'll leave him in here now tonight and have a bath with the hens tomorrow for the first time, and then switch him on for next week. Sunday morning now, taking the ends off the cocks, gave him a bath this morning, the hens had a bath, cocks didn't, really struggling to get them out on a bath to be honest, they haven't had a bath for about three weeks now, they just won't go in there, I give them hot baths, cold baths, baths with bath salts in, baths with them just playing water in, they do not want to go in the bath, there's my agent, anybody got any tips and advice on that, let me know, because the sand to get bogging and it's doing my head. I'm gonna leave the the bath in there all day. Let's see what happens. But yeah, pain in the ass. But yeah, so you take the hens off them this morning. Have a little uh, bounce about in their boxes now. Bit of conditioning seeds in their pots. Bit of a high protein mix in there just to build them back up again. 
Uh, yeah. Start off for next week now. There's a club in it. Absolutely knackered. Landed on my head roof. Didn't want to move until the next pigeon come. And then he followed him in there. But he seemed okay this morning. He seemed okay this morning. Keep my eye on this guy on the top. I think it's an ad race next week. He might be here. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Crossroom and Coaster. Boss of the shed. Monday morning. After their morning fly. Just come in. There he is. Still won't go in his box. Oh, that is his box. That's the box of his box. Tries to keep him in, but he doesn't want to stay in. He goes bonkers when I leave him in here by himself. He's alright in himself. As soon as them feathers go back, he can go back in the basket, I think. Something. Just natural line in the water. They had um, good on in the water yesterday. Uh, got that tip from Mac Mr. Macaloni. <coughs> Clean them out after the race, sort of thing. It's good stuff. But you know, just keep them like the f fresh water and a bit of natural line in the water. The rest of the week now, well, until. Thursday. And then he gets a tablespoon of conditioner seed this morning. Uh, the rest of the weekend, I'll get a tablespoon of woodwork mix in the morning and in the night. Don't know if it's right, don't know if it's wrong, but it's been working for me. So I'm going to carry on. The first week I was behind in the club. I was feeding them. Um, as much as they could have with Woodward Mix when he was behind. The week after, I put a pair of in there, so I gave him a tablespoon of Woodward Mix in the morning and the night. And it just seemed to work, it seemed to switch on, so that's what I'm going to carry on doing. Made stone this week now, 160 mile, I think it is. See how they go. 